Stage four, the Etna stage, 172 kilometers from Arvola northbound to Etna. It took a long time for the breakaway to establish itself. Once the flag had dropped, Ryan Tarame from Antamarche, Wanty Gobert, amongst others, trying to prize a group away. After a long battle, eventually Lillian Kalmjan joined a group of 13 other riders, establishing a lead that grew as the bunch sat up and allowed the breakaway to develop their lead. Lillian Kamjan took the first of the two intermediate sprints, the man from ag 2 r Citroën, who had battled hard to be in the breakaway, ahead of Stefano Aldani from the race leader's team, the Mathieu van der Poel's teammates. And he was the first rider to attack once the slopes of Mount Etna reared up their head. He took the second intermediate sprint as the climbing began. Stefano Aldani, a lead at man, a sprinter, attacking on the slopes of Mount Etna with Mauri van Zevenant and Ryan Tadame picking up the last two places, second and third over the intermediate sprint. With Oldani building up a lead of over a minute to a chase group and the peloton starting to ride a bit harder at five minutes and 50 seconds, Juan Pablo Lopez of Trek Segafredo, the Spanish climber, attacked, eventually caught Stefano Oldani and then rode off alone in the hope of riding to the top. Leonard Kemner then, in a chase group, counter-attacked roared past Stefano Oldani with Mauri van Zevenen trying to get back on terms. They caught Kemner, but Kemner went again. Too strong for the other two riders in the chase group and Kemner was off hunting down Juan Pablo Lopez. Ryan Tarame then battled on and was third on the road in the closing kilometers of the stage. And in the closing kilometer, after a short discussion, Leonard Kemner, in the company of Juan Pablo Lopez, who nearly crashed on the final turn, shared out the spoils between them. A win for Leonard Kemner and the Maglia Rosa for Juan Lopez. Benny, you were a favorite this morning and you have made it. Yeah, uh, it was a super hard day, especially the last climb. It was like really long and really hard. And uh, I almost thought I lost it when uh, Lopez had like more than 30 seconds and I could just made it to, to bridge. And yeah, I just made it. And uh, yeah, then I tried to recover a little bit for the sprint and uh, it worked out really well. A stage win at the Giro now to go with his stage win at the Tour de France a couple of years ago. A climbing talent. Leonard Kemner for Bora Hansgrohe, finishing in the same time as Juan Pedro Lopez. Ryan Tarame in third. Silvan Monique in fourth with Mari van Sevenant in fifth. And Juan Pedro Lopez from Trek Segafredo takes over the lead of the Giro by 39 seconds to Leonard Kemner with Simon Yates now in fourth place at 142.